In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your spark plugs on this Ford F-150. This is going to be the 5.4 liter engine. If you have a different one, there might be different things in the way, such as wires or hoses, but the process overall will be similar. Let's unplug the ignition coil and the connector on the driver's side all the way in the front is going to be underneath this power steering reservoir bracket. So you're going to have to sneak in there and unplug it. The clip is on the back side, the locking clip. So once you press it, you should be able to slide the connector up and off, just like that. Now take a seven millimeter socket, remove the little bolt that holds the ignition coil on. Take that out. Now you can pull the ignition coil straight up and out, just like this. And there it is. If you have a lot of debris that got in there, you can either use a vacuum cleaner or blow some compressed air into the spark plug hole. You don't want anything getting down in there when we remove the spark plug. I use a 9 16th spark plug socket, preferably. Put it down in the spark plug hole and let's break this free. Grab it with a magnet if you don't have a spark plug socket, and there it is. Now it's especially important to have a spark plug socket for installation purposes because what a spark plug socket does is it locks that spark plug in. Otherwise, the electrode on the tip will get damaged if you just drop it in. If you don't have one, this is again a 916 socket, you can use a magnet, stick it to the tip, drop it down in there, detach the magnet, and then use a regular socket to torque it. Just whatever you do, don't drop it in and let it fall. So slide it down in here. Don't put anything on the threads of the spark plug. They have to go in dry exactly how the manufacturer provided them. Thread it on by hand as far as it'll go. And that just bottomed out right there. Now we'll torque it. The torque for these is 25 foot-pounds. Remove your tool. There we go. And let's put the ignition coil on. On ignition coils, I like to put silicone paste on the end of them. This will allow the ignition coil boot to seal up against the spark plug and not get any moisture in there. It'll also help it not to seize on. A lot of times the boots will seize on from the heat and they'll be stuck. Next time you got to remove it, it'll either break the boot or separate it up here. So having said that, let's slide this in. Take your ignition coil, slide it down into the hole. Press it down to make sure that it engages on that spark plug. You want to feel it somewhat lock in. You shouldn't be able to pull it out very easily. Now line up the bolt hole and put the bolt in. Thread it, in. Thread it in all the way. Give it a quick snug, just like that. And of course, plug it in. Make sure it clicks, otherwise it'll pop off by itself. Now, let's repeat the same process to the other seven cylinders. Okay, so I did the two rear ones as well. I didn't film it because the process is actually a little bit easier than these two because you can reach right through this open space and pull them right out.
And with the other side completed as well, go ahead and take it for a road test and make sure it runs nice and smooth. If for some reason it doesn't, make sure you connected everything right and make sure it doesn't have a misfire. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.